ahead and call me Nostradamus because Jadavion Clowney, maybe there's a reunion happening. <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. Jadavion Clowney, I had mentioned him in a video, I was like a week or two ago, and that didn't feel far-fetched to me. I understand that the idea of bringing him here doesn't make quite a bunch of sense in terms of what is he looking for and teams and wanting to win. I'm just not sure Jadavion Clowney's willing to go through a rebuild with the Houston Texans, but it would be on a one-year deal. Maybe he resets his market or whatever and has a good year and thrives with D'Amico. That's like hopeful, hopeful wishing for him in his career. Um, I just don't think that's going to happen. I don't believe that him coming back to the Houston Texans even is a good thing. Um, and I know it sounds a little hypocritical because I was kind of adamant about Jadavion Clowney returning. But when I really looked into it and I looked into the facts of it and I looked into the details of it and I'm looking at a Jadavion Clowney who didn't really want to be in Cleveland um, and was very <laughs> noticed put that on notice and put that out in the media uh, and did not want to be there no more. There's rumors that he quit on the team. Okay, there's we all know that Jadavian Clowney has the lazy name attached to him and we've known that for many times around his career whether it was here in Houston or whether it was there in Cleveland sometimes in Seattle look the stats don't really attribute to what Jadavian Clowney can do for a football team I understand that he is a really good run stopper and that's what he does that's his specialty he's a run stopping edge guy who's going to set his edge and hold that running back to hopefully cut back inside and lead him towards your defensive tackles. That is what Jadavion Clowney does for this team if signed. does seem like that a reunion maybe can happen. He works out here in Houston. We all saw the video with him and Mark Berman. You know, he's open to the idea of coming back to Houston, but everything has to work out. D'Amico even talked about it, and he said, look, we're just... We're just trying to improve the team any way we can, basically. And he thinks that Clowney can improve this team. I question the locker room issues that he could create, especially when you're trying to build a culture again and reset this franchise. I'm not sure how great of a sell Jadavian Clowney is in that locker room. But overall, I'm now against bringing in J.D. Clowney. I'd rather just roll with Will Anderson, Jonathan Grenard, Jerry Hughes, and I know that kind of sounds crazy, but hey, Jonathan Grenard, if healthy, I think can produce the way he was two years ago. Jerry Hughes had a outrageous, like out of the bounds kind of year for you that was unexpected as hell. And then you got Will Anderson Jr., the third overall pick in the draft from Alabama. That dude, the Terminator, Area 51, call him whatever you want. The Houston Texans should be just fine without a Jadavion Clowney. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.